Hey, Johnny finally go down? Yeah, he conked out right away. But I fell asleep right after him. You were taking a nap up there? Yes. When have you ever known me to doze off like that? I think it's all this stress with Jack and my dad. It's just starting to get to me. All right, all right, all right. All right. Come on. <sighs> You know this is all gonna pass, right? We'll get back to some semblance of our normal lives very soon. What exactly does that look like? What does that the look like? The semblance that you speak of. The semblance I speak of? Last week, remember that? I don't think that we can go back to that. I mean, everything's changing, and for better or for worse, things are gonna be really different. Hmm. <laughs> what? You're vibrating. Maybe I just like you. Your phone? Yeah, I know. It's Jack, probably. He can leave another message. Is he still gloating? I haven't listened, but probably. Billy, you know, I'm thinking that maybe it would help if you accepted Jack's job offer. You want me to spy on my brother for you? I'm not asking you to spy, mm -hmm. and it's not just for me. Oh, no, here we go. It's your father, your brother, your mother. No, your sister. And Johnny. This shouldn't be about Jack and my dad. This should be about our future and our children's future. Not answering my phone call. I don't trust you, Sharon. It's not Nicholas you love, it's what he has. You are so off base. Well, time will tell, won't it? You're not even gonna give me a chance, are you? This marriage won't last a year. Why, because you got your mind made up? Because you're determined to destroy our family? You're fired from Newman Cosmetics. And I wouldn't go to Nick to beg for your position back because I doubt he'd feel differently. So the doctors still don't know why this happened to your father, but they're running tests now. Shouldn't someone call Adam? Not a fan, but he is dad's son. Son who helped Jack steal the company away from us. After what Adam has done, he's not going anywhere near dad. Sorry for the wait. Oh, that's quite all right. These are Victor's children. What can you tell us, doctor? Well, we're still waiting for the final results, but we do have a preliminary diagnosis. What is it? It appears that Mr. Newman may have suffered second impact syndrome and collapsed due to a double concussion he sustained. He was thrown from a horse. Did you know that? Yes, I filled the doctor in on Victor's medical history. We think that fall may have been the first concussion, which went untreated. And then there was the explosion you mentioned. Yes, at the dock in Los Angeles. Can we see our father, please? Right now, Mr. Newman needs rest and quiet. I'll allow one visitor at a time, but not all of you. Then we'll wait. Oh, I need to be with him. I'm feeling anxious right now just being away from him. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be selfish. We understand. Don't we? The doctor said he's probably going to sleep through the night anyway. Well, I'll let your father know how concerned you all are. Yeah, just be sure to call us right away if there's any changes. Of course. All right, don't put yourself too hard. We're here for you if you need us. I know, sweetheart. You'll be all right. When I found your father lying on the floor, I, I really thought... That he was dead? <sighs> Jack did this to him. He's the reason your father is in this hospital. How's Victor? He's in stable condition. He's resting right now. <sighs> you know... Losing Newman... It's one thing, but losing my dad. Okay, hold on. We're talking about vicious Victor Newman here. This is just a setback. Besides, he wouldn't give Jack that type of satisfaction. Capelli, I know how much this is tearing my father up inside. Because a 
part of me died when Dad took over the company. Jack, don't. I'm oh, sorry. I know. I know. Look, I know I shouldn't be falling apart over a business. And I am grateful for you and for Johnny and for Reed and my family. I am. But you're grieving Newman. I know. I know. I know. I know. It's just a company. I, I don't do that. It's not just a company. That particular hunk of brick and mortar is a place where you worked, not collected a dividend check, but you worked to make yourself and the world better. Have you been taking great husband classes or something? Because what you just said right there is kind of perfect. I know how you've been feeling about Victor. I know he's been awful to us, but... Ruthless tendencies aside, the man is still your father. And there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about mine and wish you were here. He almost died, Billy. And I just felt so useless. <sighs> you know that thing you asked? The answer is yes. Yeah, I'll be your spy. I'll betray Jack. Yeah, if that's what's necessary to make everything right, I'll do it. Did you hear about Victor? Oh, yeah. Nick came by, barrels blazing, blaming me for his father's latest ailments. Nick came by? And you don't have any apparent injuries? How'd you pull that one off? I talk fast. I assume Victoria... Oh, she feels the same way as Nick, but if you see her, you better run because she's not going to give you time to talk. And you're not returning my phone calls. Thought this might go over better in person. You came here to tell me what a vindictive monster I am? No, Jack, you already know how I feel about what you did. But? But we don't stop being brothers because of what you did. Does that maybe mean you're reconsidering my offer? <clears throat> Billy, you hate the mustache every bit as much as I do. That's true. But I love Victoria. And it doesn't matter if Newman is run by a Newman or an Abbott. It's Johnny's legacy. So what are you going to do to protect my nephew's legacy? Well, it looks like I'm going to say yes to your offer. But for no other reason to make sure you don't screw it up. This is the best conversation I have had in this room all day. Am I right? Just a little setback, you know? After the accident on the horse and the concussion and then all the stuff that happened in our with the explosion. And... It's all right. I'm all right. Dad, it was a warning. I know, son. It's all give me some clarity, you know? About what? Newman? What are you thinking? I've made up my mind about something. That would affect all of you. <laughs>